I am designing a cold frame for my four to eight raised beds with four mil clear plastic sheet and an automatic vent opener. Do you have any advice on building a cold frame? And this is Michael from Warwick, Rhode Island. So, Celeste, you know anything about cold frames? Do you well, have any advice? Yeah, I mean, we've I've used cold frames uh -huh. for a number of years, um, but I've never gotten fancy enough to use the automatic <laughs> opener. Like I'm pretty opener. impressed already yeah, with her her plans, yeah, her initial good. plans. So, um, yeah, definitely. I, I, in my head, I was just thinking, well, they need to make sure that they can be open because a lot of yeah, people don't thought, yeah. understand that you really need to open them right? Like during the day, they need to breathe. Okay. Um, that's just one advantage. Also making sure that they're big enough to grow whatever crop it is that you're planning on, on doing in there. Are you just wanting to um, keep your seedlings going mm -hmm. along until you can bump them up? Or are you, I, I know some friends who kind of use their cold frames to overwinter some more sensitive ferns, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to be a pretty big size yeah. to accommodate those types of plants. So just kind of using some forethought into how they want to use them now and how they might use them in the future so like that it. they don't run into an issue with design. Um, but that, that, yeah, that's just so cool that they're going to use those, the automatic uh, openers because I was just like every day, you know, oh, open, close, open, close. And then you forget one day and then like half your stuff dies. So that's yeah. a problem. They could be a great backstop. Some of them are uh, wax filled. Oh, so okay. it's, you know, or it could be electronic. I mean, okay. there's, a, okay. there's a variety. Okay of options so i think yeah a good polycarbonate cover that would you know last well and so this is of course a pretty uh, more northern location yeah i Rhode sometimes Island. like to include something like a soil heating cable or something that you can combine mm. in Great. your cold frame so when you have a protected environment like that you can start to think about okay well what could i add to that that could give me oh, a longer yes. season so oh. i love I love some love some gadgets. Oh, uh, we, we can tell. Uh, yeah, we, we can tell. So again, so a cold frame is used for what? Why do we need a cold frame? Well, it could fall into a couple of categories. They could be overwintering, mm -hmm. or oftentimes it's a way to do some of the things that you would do in a greenhouse, mm -hmm. but with less expense. Right. So it could be, especially if we're talking about cool season crops, yeah. you can start your transplants in there. Maybe you germinate them indoors and you get them out under natural light, natural light pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah. For your warm season crops, you could be hardening those mm -hmm. off in a cold frame. For short season leafy crops, you could be growing them in there gotcha. in okay. your spring and your fall season a way to it's a season extension yeah, yeah, good deal. yeah yeah all right michael hope that helps you out there yeah automatic vent opener you like that Celeste? that's pretty good I that is pretty good oh i will say one thing about that because i've seen this happen make sure that when you're designing or building it well-drained soil oh yes. yeah yeah <laughs> well-drained soil michael it just came to my mind we hope you love the video we would love for you to ask more questions be sure to leave those questions in your comments